Hi, I'm George Lumpkin, and I want to talk about how Oracle's Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud works. First of all, as we set out to build this new service, we wanted to create an entirely new type of data management cloud service. We wanted to reconsider how databases could be delivered on the cloud. The Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud keeps all of the key technical advantages of Oracle's industry-leading database engine, but it extends those into a rich, autonomous cloud service. The Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud is easy. It requires zero operational management. There's no need for a DBA to do tasks like backups or patches. The management of the database is fully autonomous. But this service goes one big step further in this area. It requires zero tuning. You only need to load the data into the service and start running queries. You don't need to be concerned with the database tuning capabilities and details like compression or parallelism. The Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud is fast. It's built on Exadata, a widely proven technology for data warehousing. Why should your data warehouse be on generic VMs or generic servers just because it runs in the cloud? With Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud, you get a highly optimized platform that's built for data warehousing. Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud is fully elastic. You can size the service to fit exactly your data warehouse's needs, specifying the amount of compute and the amount of storage for your data warehouse. Then you can scale your warehouse up or down at any time with zero interruptions. Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud truly represents the next generation of database cloud services. High levels of performance, vastly reduced labor costs because it's autonomous, and highly elastic, which enables you to pay for exactly what you use. We can see how easy Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud is as soon as you start to use the service. You only need to answer five questions to create a new data warehouse. When you look at this, right, we're really asking the minimal amount of questions that you need. You need a database name. You need to specify what region we're going to create the data warehouse. You give you the size of the database, the number of CPUs and the number of terabytes, and your admin password. It's that easy. Now, sometimes when you're illustrating such a simple process, it's easy to overlook the complexity that's really been hidden behind this. Yeah, you know, when we created this data warehouse using this cloud console, there's a whole lot of things that you did not have to think about. The details of the database software, what hardware the database was being built on, what were the characteristics of the database, what were the parameters used to set up your data warehouse, how are you going to configure your backup and availability strategy. All of those decisions were made for you, right? This is just what an autonomous service is. And when you build your data warehouse, it's going to be provisioned for you in a matter of seconds. Right? Consider that for a moment. You can have a high performance, fully scalable, highly available data warehouse created in seconds. Right? This is really unique part of Oracle's cloud infrastructure. The autonomous data warehouse is built upon a totally new cloud architecture that Oracle built specifically for the cloud enabled agile provisioning, creating databases in seconds. And as we shall discuss later, it's also enabled flexible elasticity. Now, some customers have come and said, well, I'm using Oracle's database cloud service. It provides fast provisioning. It helps me with backups. It helps me with patching. What's the difference between this and an autonomous service? And I think the distinction boils down to the difference between automated and autonomous. Oracle has been working to make its database and its database cloud service more and more automated for decades. There's a lot of features that we built into the Oracle database. But our new autonomous services really represents a next generation, really a qualitatively different type of database service. And the difference, perhaps, can be encapsulated just by a simple analogy. If you look at automobiles, for example, today, cars have been getting easier for many years. They have cruise control, they have automatic transmission, um, newer cars have the ability to do emergency stopping. And that's, that's a more automated car. Those are valuable features. 
But the difference between that and an autonomous car is the car drives itself. You don't have the keys. You don't have the steering wheel with an autonomous car. And that's the difference between an automated database, the, the type of features and capabilities that Oracle Database has been adding for years and will continue to add, and an autonomous cloud service. As Oracle introduces Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud, it's our first autonomous cloud service. And it's really focused on having the database manage itself. It's a combination of all of Oracle's database features that we built over the decades, in addition to Oracle's cloud infrastructure, and then adding the logic for the database to manage itself, adding the policies so that users can specify, I want this level of performance, this level of security, this level of availability, rather than having users to make very specific decisions on these features. So I talked about automatic provisioning of a database. Obviously, Oracle extends this with automated management. In the Oracle Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud, we take care of a lot of the typical management tasks that an operational DBA might need to do. Creating new databases, scaling the databases, patching and upgrading, backup and recovery. I think this is to be expected of an autonomous service, right? These are the type of capabilities that can help you save money and reduce human errors, right? Make sure that all of these operations are always done quickly, efficiently, and correctly. But as I mentioned earlier, Oracle takes this automation in Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud one big step further, and we provide automated tuning. We really talk about this as being able to provide capability to load and go. You simply load data into Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud and you start running queries. You don't have to worry about indexes or partitioning or compression or which tables are going into memory or parallelism. All of those details are taken care of by Oracle's Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud Service. You're simply defining the tables, loading your data, configuring your business intelligence tools against this database, and giving access to your business users. This enables you to get solutions up much more rapidly, but it also enables you to deliver very high performance solutions. Now, every customer we talk to who's used Oracle databases, customers have used these through many releases of Oracle, and they understand that in previous releases of Oracle, you actually needed to do this tuning to get good performance for a data warehouse. And so naturally, what customers have asked me is, how do you know you're going to get good performance? And this is one of the key areas of development as we were building this service. We focused on the automated tuning and the automated performance capabilities. And the way we did this was, we took real workloads. We took workloads that customers had provided to Oracle, where customers provided their performance setup for their data warehouse, their partitioning schemes, their indexing schemes, how they had configured their systems. And we compared those. We said, okay, we're going to look at the customer tuning strategies, and then we're just going to load the data into Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud with no tuning required, and we're going to compare the performance. And you can see the results. So Oracle's Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud we're not stating that it's going to deliver better performance than your hand-tuned system. But with zero effort, we're going to deliver as good or better performance than your hand-tuned systems. And this is a big deal, right? To be able to not worry about performance is a big advantage of Oracle's Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud. Now, Oracle's Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud works with all of the data warehouse tools that you may be using today, right? So if you're moving a data warehouse onto Oracle Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud, you can continue to use your existing tools. It's still an Oracle database. Those tools are certified against the Oracle database. They're going to work against Oracle Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud. You can run these tools in a hybrid fashion. 
keeping your BI tool on-premise, connecting to the data warehouse in the cloud. Or you could put all of you, your entire ecosystem into the cloud. And of course, the best solution would be, especially if you're building a new data warehouse, to build all the components in the cloud and combine Oracle Analytics Cloud, Oracle Data Integration Platform Cloud, and Oracle Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud together to have a completely cloud-centric data warehouse. Now, Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud also delivers high reliability. As you move to the cloud, you cannot expect to sacrifice availability in any aspect, right? And Oracle's Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud delivers a highly available solution. Um, the basic service as we introduce Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud, we're going to be providing sort of an enterprise level of availability of 99.95%. This is achieved by the fact that the service is built upon the fault tolerant and highly available Exadata platform. It includes a lot of proven features to deliver resilient databases. Built into the service, we take backups automatically. We keep 60 days of backups. And you can restore your data warehouse to any point in time within those 60 days. And then as we move forward, we're soon going to be introducing a mission critical flavor of Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud. This is going to deliver four and a half nines of availability. And this is going to be achieved through having a standby database. The final really big characteristic of Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud that I wanted to talk about is the elasticity. The benefit of elasticity is you pay for exactly the resources that you need. You're paying for exactly what you use. And there's a few ways that Oracle helps you achieve these benefits in Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud. First, as you saw when we created the data warehouse, you specify the number of CPUs and the number of terabytes for your data warehouse. So you're sizing your system and paying for exactly what you need. You're not constrained by fixed building blocks or it's fixed server sizes. You're specifying what's needed for your data warehouse. And then once you're running your data warehouse, you can just scale it on demand. You can change the CPUs and storage. You could say, well, I'm running 12 CPUs but over the next two days or over the next two hours, I need 24 CPUs. You scale it on demand, and that scaling occurs instantly in a matter of seconds and is fully online without interrupting any of your current processing. So this really enables you to pay for exactly what you use and really powerful elasticity capabilities. Now, if you're considering how you move to autonomous data warehouse cloud, well, obviously, we're supporting the migration of existing Oracle systems. You would take your existing Oracle data warehouse, export it, move the export files into Oracle's object store, and then import it. And we have special settings so that the import is aware of the moving into the autonomous data warehouse cloud. Make it very easy to move data into the service. We also support a migration utility for Redshift. So enabling you to move from AWS Redshift into Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud. So just to wrap up, I really wanted to, tie, to talk not so much about some of the key technical features. What I try to do in this webcast is give you an idea of some of the key technical capabilities. But I want to make sure at the end you understand the benefits. Right? By having an autonomous cloud service, you're getting lower cost. It requires less labor to run and build your data warehouse, and you spend less because it's, it's a highly elastic service. It enables you to build your solutions quicker. Businesses want data warehouses to solve their business problems, and the Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud enables very fast implementations. It delivers all this with higher service level, right? Better performance, better availability, higher security, because it's an autonomous database. And we should use this for all data warehouses. For new data warehouses, obviously, it makes a great deal of sense to build it entirely in the cloud, but we'd also done a lot of work to ensure that existing data warehouses can migrate very easily. We're really excited about the autonomous data warehouse cloud. 
It really is the vanguard of a new generation of database cloud services coming out from Oracle. And we hope to see you trying it soon. Thank you very much.